Okay, welcome to the bacteria segmentation and tracking tutorial. Uh, I am Heather Peter, and all my lovely co-authors are listed here. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably are interested in tracking cells, or this process can be used for pretty much any object tracking, which is pretty useful, but I'm a biologist, so I think cells are important. And that's why we developed these tools. So this here is our online data storage site here at OSF. Uh, we have all the videos and the scripts and software and data sets uh, that have been published in our book chapter in Springer Methods. And uh, the citation is also available on here. Uh, and so basically, if you're going to follow along with this tutorial, I'll be using the reduced data set right here, uh, which I downloaded and put in this folder called practice. Uh, all the images used for these tools need to be 16 bit uh, black and white images, basically, as you can see here, it's just a series of images. Uh, if you're using fluorescence like we are, they need to be two separate images, don't have the images stacked. It's not going to work very well or at all, really. And they all need to have a dash P dash three digits and then dot tip. Uh, they need to tip images. Uh, and that's just so the scripts can loop through all the files. If you don't have that file name, it's not going to work. Uh, all phase images, that's what these are should be P, and all fluorescence images need to be labeled G, regardless of whether or not they are GFP. Uh, and I'll detail that a little bit more later. So we'll be using the reduced data set, and then here is the link to GitHub, uh, which I've loaded up over here, and you can just download the zip folder uh, for the master branch, and that'll go ahead and download all these files for you. Uh, and then if you're on a Linux machine, which I highly recommend, uh, this also works for Macs, but it's a little bit extra troubleshooting you might have to do, uh, and the process is a little bit slower because uh, the Macs, I didn't program them to be able to run the segmentation in the background, which makes it a little bit slower. Uh, so, but I highly recommend Linux. If you don't have a Linux machine, you can use VirtualBox uh, and put a Linux, particularly we use Ubuntu, put Ubuntu in the VirtualBox and run everything. Uh, and all those details are in the book chapter. So once you have the zip file, you can just extract it like so. And now I have all the scripts that I will need. We'll actually just be running this one, uh, which then calls everything else. Uh, and your images that you're practicing with need to be in the same folder as the script. So all of this should be in one folder, the folder with all your images in it, and then all of the scripts. So everything we'll be doing today needs to be run from the terminal. Uh, the terminal, I put mine right there and it's set there, but if you need to be able to find it, you can just type in terminal, it'll pop up. I think also control T, nope. There's also a shortcut, I don't remember, to get the terminal open. Uh, or, ah, yeah, it's right clicking on the, on the background, we'll open up the terminal as well. Uh, and this is how we're going to be running everything. If you're unfamiliar with the terminal, uh, the brief description, it's case sensitive. Everything must be typed. Don't use shortcut keys because it will not like that. Um, control C actually means quit when you're working in the terminal. So if you try to copy something into the terminal, you may in fact quit everything else you were doing. Uh, so don't use shortcut keys basically. Right now we're in what uh, is called the home directory, so that's this right here. Uh, and I put everything in downloads, so we need to change directories to where all my scripts are, which is cell tracking master. Uh, so to do that, you can hit try CD, which means change directory, and then just click and drag your thing. Uh, and that's the file location for where we want to change directories to. So we are now in this directory. If you really want to know and say you want to copy and paste the directory, you can always right click on any of the files 
uh, and it'll give you the location, which is your directory. Super useful. So now we are in the right place. Uh, now we need to use Python in order to run the script. If you don't have Python installed, uh, go download Anaconda in the README file. I have a very nice tutorial on all the software installation you need to do. Uh, so go ahead and pause the video, do all of this, and then come back. All right, so now that we have Anaconda working and installed, uh, we can just go ahead and type in Python and then type in the name of segment and track that uh, You can type out the full name or you can just type segment and hit tab and it will automatically fill in the rest, which is kind of useful. And go ahead and hit enter and it will start the scripts. 